guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are doing a little vlog. I'm actually having wisdom teeth surgery today so I wanted to kind of take you along on the journey um, for those of you who have EDS or if you have TMJ. I have both of those things so today's surgery is going to be very interesting and so I kind of wanted to just document how I deal with it, how I cope with it, what effect it has on me and kind of what my recovery is like. So I don't know how much of me you're going to see today because um, I'm obviously about to go to hospital, but I am gonna give you as much updates as I can. Yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you do, and let's go to the hospital. Na, 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 na. So I am in a ward. I don't know if you can hear me. Um, I've just had my blood pressure checked, taken some meds. Um, so I'm just waiting to be called for surgery, I believe. I finished my book, which was really good. And, yeah. I feel good. I've just had surgery. I woke up about, I don't know, but my face feels like I've been punched in the face. I can't feel it at all. <coughs> I've got this in. I'm hoping my mum will be here soon but I've just had a wee and I can't my face feels huge but it went well I'll talk to you later it's gone I'm just getting my medication I've got my discharge letter and then I can go so I'm now at home with my mum and Josh and um my numbing is starting to, to wear off, so I'm starting to feel the pain. I, can't really, I feel like my lip is swollen, my bottom one, but I can't tell. Everything just feels like pins and needles at the minute. Um, and my jaw's really sore. Um, I'm trying to avoid going to sleep properly, and then I'll just sleep tonight, hopefully. But I've had some paracetamol, and... I feel my chin, like all this bit just feels very pins and needly. Uh, and there's lots of blood going on. I can taste blood a lot. But yeah, I feel I feel okay. I'm starting to feel normal in terms of my mind. I'm starting to feel like me again, but I'm in pain. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> but my teeth feel really tight, like it feels like I'm wearing like a mouth guard or braces or something. Like my teeth feel so tight, which is really odd. What's everything? So I'll probably see you tomorrow. Hi everyone. So I just wanted to pop on here. It's the next day, so it's the day after my surgery. The time is quarter to 12. So it's still not been 24 hours since my surgery. So my mum is still here. I didn't get any sleep last night. I'm absolutely shattered. I was in so much pain. I kept waking up and having paracetamol and it just kept doing nothing. So I just kept laying there. Um, but this morning I have tried. So this tooth here, my bottom one, is so much more painful than all my others. Like so much more. This side is stitched. No idea why. This side has holes in. So I don't know why they did that, I guess maybe they had to dig a bit more, so therefore they had to cut a bit more, I have no idea. But I want to know, because I want to know that. I want to know why this one hurts so much more. So I called the hospital and they basically told me we can't tell you because I don't have my manager here to access your notes. But my GP has prescribed me some cocodamol because paracetamol just isn't doing anything for me and I'm still in so much pain. So I'm making sure that I drink lots of water and I was drinking water overnight as well. Every time I woke up, I was like drinking water. I also woke up last night with like blood pouring out my mouth. That's what I woke up to, which was lush. That was about 3 p.m., 3 a.m., sorry. I put loads of bottles in the fridge and there's honestly nothing nicer than drinking cold water. So if you've just had with some tooth removal or extraction, whatever you want to call it. If you've just had that surgery, drink some cold bottled water. 
it's so good it's so soothing um but yesterday i stupidly used a straw so definitely do not use straws either if you've just had wisdom teeth extraction surgery because it will uh dislodge your blood clots and i felt it happen i literally felt something shoot out of the hole into my mouth and was like what the crap was that because obviously the sucking of sucking a straw and yeah my mum's planning on going tomorrow which i'm really sad about <laughs> wanted to just stay forever but it's okay because in three weeks time we move to Swindon so we're going to be with them we're going to be near them we're going to be close so not long to wait but I just I hate feeling crap and being on my own so it's been really nice having my mum around um just being here watching stuff with me chatting reading together it's just been really nice so I'm gonna be sad when she leaves but yeah, I'm going to have some water and my yoghurt now and I will probably update you tomorrow. Okay, I'm not going to film much today because I'm super dizzy. But I've been taking my antibiotics, which is, I think I showed you yesterday, but I'll show you now. This is what I'm taking for my antibiotics because I am allergic to penicillin. So I have to have a different antibiotics. Um, I'm also taking Zepain, which I'm sure most of you know, but I will edit a picture in here of what it looks like. Um, and Zepain codeine makes me so dizzy. <laughs> and it doesn't help the fact that I'm hypermobile because I, if my joints are bad, then I get dizzy anyway. So I just feel like 10 times dizzier than I felt in a long time. And I think that's to do with the medication. I'm also feeling pretty sick because I'm not actually digesting the medicine with like proper food because I can't quite open my mouth enough to eat. But last night I slept a lot better. I had three pillows propping myself up so I wasn't completely flat. I think the complete flatness, like I only have two pillows normally, which is quite flat for me because we have cheap pillows so it's not really very plumpy. <laughs> um... But, like, sitting back made my... I think it just put some pressure in my gums and it made me bleed a lot. Whereas last night, having three pillows and sitting upright a bit more helped a lot. Um, So I didn't bleed last night, which is great. Um, But, yeah, I'm so tired today and I'm so dizzy. So I'm going to try and read because I really want to read, like, so bad. Um, But, yeah, I otherwise I'm feeling okay. The painkillers are really working in terms of my face. But obviously that's the downside to medication, which is why I don't take medication for any of my EDS stuff. Because my EDS is long term and I want to just learn to deal with it. But obviously the pain with this is short term because it's I've just had surgery. So I feel a lot better about taking medication at the moment than I do with my EDS. But that's why I avoid medic any medication with my EDS because it comes with other side effects and I don't want it. I don't want it at all. And it this whole experience of taking antibiotics and my codeine and paracetamol is making me realise how much I don't want it. Because, yeah, it makes this stop hurting. But I'm so dizzy I can barely stand up and walk. Um, and I'm so tired and I feel so sick. So my mum is going home after she's cooked me some lunch, which I'm super sad about because I've loved having her here so much. I just love her so much and I'm going to miss her. And yeah I just I don't want her to leave <laughs> um but I'm hoping Josh will be able to help me out a bit more today because I really don't feel good today so yeah that is my update that is my I'm still not 48 hours post-op yet I'll be 48 hours in about four hours so I'm currently 44 hours post-op this is how I feel that is my little update so I'll see you tomorrow I'm so sick this evening. I don't know if it's what medication it is. I'm just filming. I don't know what medication it is that I'm taking that's making me feel so horrible, but I feel horrendous. I literally can't stop being sick and every mouthful I have I'm like I need to be sick <laughs> so really struggling to eat I also have just thrown up loads and so this whole side of my face 
It's starting to throb again and it's so painful. I just want to stop taking whatever it is that's making me sick but I don't know what it is and I don't know what to do so I'm going to stop taking my codeine and see if that's what's making me so sick and just take my antibiotics but I don't know what it is. I feel shocking and I just want to stop taking everything and just feel normal again. <laughs> So I know that there's probably a lot of stuff in my system, a lot of medication from my surgery and anaesthetic and all that stuff, as well as antibiotics and codeine and a lot of paracetamol. I just feel horrible. So that's my little update. I'm going to go to bed and just pray that tomorrow I'll wake up and feel a little bit better than I do right now. <laughs> Hello. So the last clip that you would have seen was me showing you my heat pad on my tummy and my washing cup bowl next to me. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um, that was at 20 past 11 last night and I didn't stop being sick until 9 o'clock this morning. Like non-stop being sick. Could not could not keep it down, could, was not having anything. I had my last dose of codeine, half six, and I think I literally just spent the rest of the time from half six until nine this morning, throwing it up and getting it out of my body. It like felt like I had been poisoned, like my body just needed to get it out. Like that's literally just what it felt like for all that time. 14 and a half hours of being sick, which is crazy, so. Um, basically we, Josh was getting really worried so wanted me to call 111. So we called 111 and just basically said that I'd had surgery on Monday and that I have been taking par paracetamol with codeine and my antibiotics and straight away he was like, I think that it's the codeine, I think the codeine is probably making you sick. Um, so that was about half two in the morning that we called them so he prescribed me some anti-sickness medication and Josh got a taxi to the hospital to pick it up and got a taxi back which was 13 pounds which is fab <laughs> um, and then I took the anti-sickness medication when he got back about 3 a.m. it said it takes like half an hour to kick in or like one to two hours before you start to feel better but I threw up at about half past four, so about an hour and a half after I had the anti-sickness medication in my mouth. Josh then called 111 again at half four in the morning, just because he was getting worried again, um, and said that I'm still being sick even after taking the anti-sickness medication, and he was like, yeah, it sounds very likely that she's having a reaction to the codeine, so unfortunately all she can do is just be sick and wait it out so he said it should take about 12 to 14 hours from when you last had a dose to get it out of your system i mean i josh was up with me all of last night neither of us slept so he's off work today his boss just said just take the day off um so he's having a bath currently and that's the situation and i'm never taking codeine again in my life i feel awful Oh crap. Um, I don't want to eat anything or drink anything or consume anything until my stomach feels more settled. But obviously I need to take antibiotic. Like I'd literally just lay in bed and then all of a sudden I'd be like grabbing the bucket next to me and like it felt like I was just sicking up medication and sicking up like the acid in my stomach and oh it was horrible. And I really am praying that I'm not sick again because... I will actually cry. <laughs> it was so awful. Hi guys, so it is four days post-op today and I'm feeling a lot better than I did yesterday. Um, I slept really well last night. I woke up about three times um, being sick but it wasn't anything major. It was just like a little bit. It wasn't like loads. Today I'm feeling really like, like just like I need to just rest and not do anything and really tired 
really fragile. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm super red all around my jaw. Um, it really hurts like a lot. <laughs> I feel like all of being sick last night, well, Wednesday night into Thursday, I feel like it's really inflamed everything. And I feel like some of my stitches has come out on the bottom bit here. Um, so that's really sore. I'm not really sure food wise. I don't, I still don't really feel comfortable eating. My jaw still feels very stiff um, and sore. Um, I've completely stopped taking painkillers so I'm not taking any Zepain which is codeine and paracetamol and I'm also not taking anything else because paracetamol and ibuprofen don't work for me so I thought I'm not going to just take them for the sake of it because the whole reason I took the Zepain is because the paracetamol wasn't working. Um, so I'm kind of dealing with no pain meds at the minute which I'm starting to regret this evening because it's very very fragile. Um, Josh washed my hair for me yesterday which I was super grateful for because it was definitely needed doing um, and I was able to have a little shower yesterday. I did feel a bit dizzy though so Josh stayed in the bathroom with me. But yeah it all went well and the time is quarter past six so Josh is having some dinner. Um, but yeah that is the latest and the greatest and that's the update. Four days post-op. We'll see how we go tonight and what happens tomorrow. Hello, so it's the 21st of November, which means I am five days post-op and I feel a lot more like me. Um, I'm still haven't eaten much at all. I've had a little bit of um, like a chocolate milkshake, uh, just my Alpro one and water and that's it. That's all I've had today. I ate a little bit yesterday and I felt something dislodge. Um, and I feel like I felt one of my blood clots come out. So... I just feel like it's taking it a lot longer to heal than it normally would. So so I'm trying to avoid food. But in general, I feel a lot better. Medication wise, I'm just taking paracetamol for the pain, which is taking the edge off enough for me to be able to do something else like read. Um, I am taking my antibiotics, but I've again, I've half the dosage, which is making a difference in terms of my sickness. Um, I still feel nauseous, so I'm keeping on top of my anti-sickness meds, but I can only take them three times a day. So I'm trying to like space out enough so that it covers me for like when I sleep or when I'm like chilling in the evening or whatever. So um, yeah, that's kind of the update. I am having to keep my lips moisturised um, because they are super sore. I don't know if you can see that. But they're really dry and peely. So I've been like plastering them in Carmax. This is the stuff I'm using in case anyone's interested. Um, and it's really working. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, but yeah, I am just moved down to the living room. I'm going to carry on reading my book, which I'm loving. I really want to eat something. So I'm going to see how I get on tonight. But as I said, I just don't want to risk like anything dislodging or becoming uncomfortable because I notice when I eat it becomes a lot more painful so I'm happy just keeping it at the level that it is so I think we're gonna have smoothie for dinner tonight which I'm happy about no problem my bowels are working again which is great news because I haven't been for um six days but I went today so that's great and I think that's honestly down to the fact that I'm not taking codeine anymore so my body's waking up from surgery and I'm also not taking codeine. So it's woken up my bowels, which is so great. I'm so happy about that. But yeah, this is the first day that I've felt a bit normal. I'm not in so much pain that I can't focus on anything. So I don't think I could watch TV. I definitely am not. It sounds so crazy. I'm enjoying reading because I can focus on it and it's getting my mind working and getting me engaged in something, which is good which is making me feel better. I feel like if I sat and watched TV, I would just zone out and then I'd start to feel crap. So reading is keeping me engaged. It's keeping my mind busy, which I think is helping distract me from everything else that's going on. So yeah, today's a good day. I feel good today and I'm looking forward to the next few days. And I'm really hoping and praying that I'm going to feel comfortable eating soon. Um, chewing and like even... Even just putting my teeth together and pressing my top jaw onto my bottom is hurting. 
so eating i'm just not really sure how it's going to go down hello so we are six days post-op it's the 22nd of november i'm feeling a lot better like in myself i have a lot more energy um i've been able to shower by myself i did have josh in the bathroom with me because i do feel a bit dizzy but then my eds makes me dizzy anyway and i need josh to help me shower anyway so that's not new um I am starting to have a lot more range of motion over my jaw. So I can open and close it a lot better. Um, but there, I'm still a little bit fragile and I can feel the fragileness. But I did make a banana bread today and I was able to eat that very carefully. Um, chewing at the backs of my mouth hurts either side. But I definitely feel like we're done. I definitely feel like... Um, the rest of it, the main healing is done and the rest of it is just going to be my jaw um, and just my jaw getting used to going back to normal, recovering from surgery, my gums healing better, like it's just going to be standard stuff from now. So it's taken six days for me to feel okay, which I'm really pleased with, I'm really pleased with, um, but I definitely know I'm not out of the woods yet. So but I'm not going to be eating a burger probably for another week. I definitely don't think I could eat toast, like bite toast for another week. Um, so there's some things I feel like, yeah, I'm definitely not going to be able to eat that for a while. Um, but in general, I feel a lot better and I feel a lot more recovered. And I feel like from now on, it's just going to be about sleeping, gradually changing my food, seeing what my mouth can handle and what it can't. Um... But mainly resting. I definitely still feel like I need to rest. Um, but yeah, I feel really good. And I feel really thankful that the sickness spout and everything is over. Because that was rough as crap. <laughs> and I never want to feel like that again. So I'm taking some paracetamol still for pain. Um, but I'm taking it when I need it. Rather than like regularly. So I, have, I took it about 11 o'clock this morning. And it's now half six. So I'll probably take it before I go to bed because that's when I really notice it when I'm like laying on it. Um, or bef probably take it before I have dinner actually because I'm going to notice it then. Um, I'm also taking my antibiotics still but I finish this on Tuesday which means I'll then be able to stop taking my anti-sickness because I'm taking my anti-sickness when I take this as well because this does make me feel a bit nauseous. Um, but yeah, otherwise I feel great. So I think I'm going to end this email email so i think i'm going to just end this video here i really hope that this video has been informative i really wanted to film it um from a perspective of someone suffering with eds and also someone who suffers quite badly with tmj i wanted to kind of film it from that perspective because i wanted this is something i would have wanted to watch basically when i was going into surgery so this is why I've made it. I just, so I hope if you have EDS, if you have TMJ, or if you just in general are going for wisdom tooth surgery, I hope this was helpful. I hope this gave you some idea of what your recovery is going to be like and what you can expect. Um, again, I have a lot, a lot of digest digestive stuff because of my EDS that affects my ability to take medication. So I definitely think my sickness was down to the medication I was taking and not as an effect of the surgery. Um, so I would be aware of that if you have EDS, just any medications that they give you, just make sure you know how your body reacts to it before you decide to take them. Um, but yeah, that's it really. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you did. And I will see you in another video. Bye guys.